Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera. Selamat malam semua. Terima kasih kerana datang bersama-sama dengan kami di China USCP PPD Hulu Perak. Sebelum kita mulakan program malam ini, marilah kita sama-sama membuka dengan umum kitab Al-Fatihah. Baik, terima kasih semua. Uh, teacher nak datang sekejap saja untuk teknikal. Ya. Baik, uh, untuk malam ni kita bersama-sama dengan Cikgu Rohaiza dan Cikgu Farini. Ya. Cikgu Rohaiza sebagai uh, moderator, Cikgu uh, Teacher Farini sebagai penceramah dan uh, Amir, ya. Amir sebagai student uh, bersama-sama dengan uh, Teacher Farini dan Cikgu Rohaiza untuk English CFR SPM Guided Writing. Baik. Uh, untuk uh, memulakannya uh, sebelum uh, uh, teacher menyerahkan slot pada Cikgu Farini, uh, Teacher Farini dan Cikgu Rohaiza Sedikit housekeeping, uh, kejap lagi saya, uh, saya akan letakkan uh, link kehadiran pada ruang chat dan juga pada description di bawah Jadi semua orang, semua ya, semua peserta eh, boleh isi sekali saja, ya sekali sajalah kalau boleh kita isi sekali saja di link kehadiran yang akan diletakkan di ruang chat dan juga di uh, description di bawah dan untuk cikgu-cikgu uh, akan diletakkan dalam uh, LDP SPL KPM. Baik, itu saja daripada saya, saya serahkan kepada Cikgu Rohaiza dan Teacher Farini dan juga Amir, dipersilakan. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum dan selamat malam kepada guru-guru uh, dan pelajar-pelajar. Saya Cikgu Guru Haizal Minta Zainal Abidin selaku moderator anda pada malam ini. Bertemu kita di Seminar Anak Cemerlang Lengkung 2021 untuk subjek yang kedua iaitu Mata Pelajaran Bahasa Inggeris. Jadi untuk memulakan, memulakan program pada malam ini, marilah kita sama-sama membaca umur kitab agar program kita pada malam ini berjalan dengan lancar dan diberkati Al-Fatihah. Okay, untuk makluman kepada guru-guru dan para pelajar sekalian, program seminar Anak Cemerlang Parlimen Lenggung 2021 ini mendapat kerjasama daripada Klub Lit Lenggung, USTP Hulu Perak, PPD Hulu Perak, MGC Perak dan MGC Majlis Guru Cemerlang Malaysia. Program julung kali ini diadakan untuk memberi tuition secara percuma kepada guru dan para pelajar bukan sahaja kepada anak-anak di daerah Hulu Perak di bawah Parlimen Lenggung tetapi juga anak-anak pelajar dan guru-guru di seluruh Malaysia yang akan menduduk dan yang akan menduduki SPM 2021 2022. Untuk makluman kepada guru dan para pelajar terdapat 10 mata pelajaran dalam program seminar anak cemerlang 2021 di antaranya bahasa Malaysia bahasa Melayu, bahasa Inggeris, matematik, sains, sejarah, pendidikan Islam, matematik tambahan, fizik, kimia dan prinsip perkawinan. Pada malam ini kita akan bersama dengan seorang guru yang cukup berpengalaman luas dalam subjek bahasa Inggeris SPM iaitu Teacher Farini binti Ahmad Fadil yang bertugas di SMK Datuk Abdul Rahman Yaakob bawah tekanan Perak. Untuk makluman semua, Teacher Farini merupakan seorang guru cemerlang bahasa Inggeris yang merupakan jurulatih CFR. Untuk itu, cikgu serahkan program ini kepada Teacher Farini. Dipersilakan. Okay, Assalamualaikum and a very good evening everyone. Okay, from the chat board I can see uh, so many students. Alright, I am hoping uh, most of you are students of Form 4 and Form 5 from all over Malaysia. Alright, so good evening everybody. Waalaikumsalam. Okay, salam sejahtera. I can see uh, a lot of you there. Muhammad Sirajuddin, Rini Chia, okay, from... SMK Datuk Ahmad Arshad, uh, that is in Johor if I'm not mistaken. Okay, the blue stars, alright. Yeah, Lia, Amira Alia, okay, Tashana Devi, so good evening everybody. Nurul Izzati, uh, I think that is my student. Okay, Buyung Adil, everybody there, alright. So today, <clears throat> we are going to do guided writing, okay, one of the... Uh, part in your writing, uh, CEFR writing. So everybody, I hope, okay, all of you uh, have prepared, okay, you have your uh, notebook and also your pen and pencil next to you, all right? So before we start, okay, 
uh, again, I am Puan Farini. Okay, you can just call me teacher. All right, no problem. Okay, so we are going to start our lesson. Okay, I call it a lesson. Lah. So we are going to do a workshop. Okay, I am going to guide you. I am going to help you. Okay, in writing the guided writing. Okay. Yeah, good evening. Zeti Azmira. Okay, Ama Iskandar. Okay, good evening everybody. So I'm going to show you the slide. Okay, hold on. Huh? Okay. It's a bit slow. Okay. Hold on. Uh. Okay. Here is the slide. I hope you can see the slide. Okay, did you, did you see? All right. See. Ada, eh? All right. Okay, today we are going to do CEFR writing that is triple one nine paper two. All right, triple one nine paper two. So I just go. Like this. Okay. Now, okay, everybody, okay, uh, this is some sort like a refresher. Okay, refresher means saya nak ingatkan kamu balik about the writing paper. Okay. First, for the writing paper, there are three parts. Okay, one is short communicative message that is where you write the email. All right. So, for the email, you got to write 80 words. 80. All right. And then the second one, you have guided writing. Okay, so as for the guided writing, you can tulis 125 to 150 words. Okay, and the third is you have the extended writing. Okay, so extended writing, you are to write 200 to 250 words. Okay, so remember, there are four skills. That means four paper. You have listening, speaking, reading and writing, right? So... All this paper, okay, the weightage is 25%. Berapa pun markah yang you dapat, dia akan tarik 25%. Okay? And the writing paper, okay, carries 60 marks. That means uh, email, guided, extended, 20, 20, 20 marks. Alright? And it is 1 hour and 30 minutes. Okay, dekat sini, teacher nak stated that 1 hour and 30 minutes Okay, Excuse me, can you make a slideshow? Okay, hold on. Uh. I make a slideshow. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, thank you. All right, okay. So, one hour and 30 minutes. So, one hour and 30 minutes here, you as a student, you need to plan your essay. Okay, since email to lap, uh, 80 kata perkataan, okay, you only just write short and fast. Okay, because you need to um, concentrate, you need to focus when you do guided and also extended. Alright, so that is writing. Okay, now, here you have the general tips. Okay, when you do a guided writing, it is 125 to 150 words. Okay, ada nampak tak general, general tips? Ada tak? Okay, Raisa, ada. 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 Alright. So, it is 20 marks. Okay. And then, stimulus given with a few points. Stimulus means dia bagi kat points itu, you have to use, you have to answer the points given to you. The question given to you. Kehendak soalan. You kena ikut kehendak soalan. Okay. And use all the points given. Alright. Okay, next. Now, writing tips. Okay, number one. Okay, so when you do writing, 
whether it is uh, uh, email, guided or extended writing. Okay, please, students, okay, you need to read, understand and underline the key information. All right, that is good if you have uh, your highlighter with you. So you read and you highlight the question. What are you going to answer? Okay, so that is tip number one. Okay, what is the question? So you underline the question. All right. Next is you plan the essay. You brainstorm the essay. You can do just a, 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 a short mind map. Okay, with one, two or three points. Or you just can draw an arrow and write down your points. Okay. Tip number three, okay, this is what you always do when you do writing, okay. You can add the introduction, you can add the body, and you also have the conclusion, all right. Whether you do it during SPM or if you go to university, when you write an essay, this is the template, inilah format dia, intro, body, and also conclusion, all right. So tip number four, okay, remember, when you write essay, you kena ada variety of sentence structures meaning that you got to write simple sentence you got to write compound and also complex sentence so bila your teacher read your essay they are variety of sentence structures all right students and the last tip is you need to identify the tenses Tenses means whether you punya essay is past tense, present tense or future tense or maybe there are the combination. Alright? Okay. Okay, now we are going to look into guided writing. Okay, guided writing is the second part of your writing paper. Alright? Okay, now I have... Um, prepared this for you and I hope all of you are writing this down. Okay, sila tulis dalam buku nota kamu. So that is easy for you after this when you do guided writing. Okay, remember what I told you just now, bila you write guided writing, it is 125 sehingga 150. 150 patah perkataan, right? So, I have make it easy for you. Okay, so for in the introduction part, okay, you can write around 30 words. Okay, kalau you go more than 30 words, okay, around 35 words, nanti you can adjust in the body part. Okay, so in the body, please write around 100 words. Okay, 100 or more or less, it depends macam mana you bahagikan the words all right you can write here more you can write here less okay and then for the conclusion it will be around 20 words all right so my advice is okay saya nasihatkan kamu every time you write one paragraph you count berapa and you write dekat sebelah so that you won't go more okay you can write more boleh tulis lebih Tapi tidak terlalu lebih. Not too much. Alright. Around 155, 157. That's it. Alright. Because you have another part that is the uh, extended writing for you to write more. Alright. Okay. Okay. When you write, okay, your essay, it is very important for you to write cohesive devices okay what are cohesive devices okay like uh here are some examples that you can use okay furthermore in addition to add ideas all right for example another reason okay to show result so therefore as a result uh an introducing point okay first firstly i think all of you have used uh, the introducing points quite a number of times, right? Every time you do essay, okay, every time you do speaking with your teachers, all right, you will need to use all this, all right, to begin with, all right? Next, then, okay, besides that, furthermore, all these devices need to be used, okay, when you write the essay, okay? Or you can use, I think, I believe, in my view, 
uh, in my opinion, uh, that shows opinion. All right. And another one, okay, show contrast, different. All right. So besides different from other than that, okay, all these words and phrases. All right. Okay, we go to the next one. Okay, now, how are you going to write an introduction? Okay, how are we going to write an introduction? Everyone, I need you to prepare your exercise book next to you, all right? And we are going to do this essay together, all right? So, when you do essay, when you write an essay, you will have problems, all right? When it comes to introduction, okay? You will sit there for hours, okay, thinking of what type of introduction. What am I going to write, okay, in the introduction part? Okay, so here, okay, I have narrowed down, okay, to four, okay? So, I'm going to teach you today what you are going to write for the introduction, all right? Okay, now, uh, let's say this is your question, all right? The English club of your school is organizing a writing competition, okay? Your teacher has asked you to write an essay on ways to improve one's english so here that is the question now my question to you is what is the what are you going to write what is the main title that you are going to write okay what is the main title that you are going to write can you someone or anybody type in the chat box okay looking at the question uh, okay, we can ask Ame, okay, to write in the uh, chat box, okay. Uh, what is the question that you are going to write, okay, from the title, okay. Ways to improve from Ray Kalish Warren, yes, okay. Uh, Dashini, ways to improve the language, yes, correct, all right, thank you, both of you. That is the question, okay. That is the uh, point that you are going to elaborate in the question. The way to improve English, Harish Kumar. Thank you, everybody. Muhammad Adi. How to improve one's English? Yes. Kartika Kirti, ways to improve. Yes. All of you got it correct. All right. Thank you very much. Okay, now, there are four types of introduction that you can write. Okay. Uh, I hope all of you uh, are writing this down, okay? You can just, um, what you call that, you can just mind map, okay? The point, okay? Okay, number one, okay? To write an introduction, you can use general statement, okay? So, here is an example of how you write a general statement, okay? For example, I'm going to read this to you, huh? Nowadays, many films, TV shows, books, and music are published and produced in English. If you do not understand English, then you will have problems listening and communicating with others. So, what I have mentioned and read to you just now, that is what we call general statement. Okay, it is something you are giving a background information, okay, of what is happening now, what is happening around the world, okay, the current issues, that is what we call general statement. And I think more, most of you, when you write essay, a lot of you will do general statement. All right? Okay. So, after you have written your introduction, and please remember, do not write more. Okay? Because you, according to the word count, you write around 30 words. All right? After you have written the introduction, Please write the thesis statement, okay? If you look at the slide, okay, the thesis statement, okay, is the sentence that I have um, make it read, that one, all right? Here are some ways to improve the language. So, that is the thesis statement because bef after I read your thesis statement, I know in the second paragraph, you are going to write about ways to improve the language. So, from this general statement, there are 38 words. Okay, students, later, okay, 
we are going to write the essay. All right? Okay, that is general statement. Okay? Next, number two is definition. So, dalam bahasa Melayu ni ialah definasi lah sama. All right? So, you can also write an introduction using definition. Okay, for example, English is an international language widely used around the world and a popular language. Students need to learn this language because it is important to them. Okay, that is the definition of English. All right, that you know. So, the TC statement, okay, below are three suggestions to improve your English language. So, here, they are 35 words. All right, so that is definition as your introduction. All right, so third, okay, now, Another uh, introduction that you can use is by using questions. Tanda soal. You ask question as the introduction. A lot of my students ask me, okay, teacher, can I use this uh, in the introduction? Yes, you can. Because when you write English, it is uh, subjective. Okay, you can write anything as long as you write is an introduction logic and positive all right so you start by using question let's say you have two questions for example why is english language important to students so that is one question all right so second question what should they do to improve their english so that is how you write the introduction by giving questions all right so here are a few ways that you can do Meaning here, do what? Do to improve the language. All right. So here I have 24 words. All right. And the last one is by using statistical report or data. All right. Okay. Now, when we talk about data, you must have numbers. For example, percentage. All right. So according to the Ministry of Education, okay, 25.3%. 4% SPM 2020 students failed in their English language paper. Students need to work hard so that they are good in the language. All right, you see, 25.34%. Okay, so if you have that number, then it shows that you are using data as your introduction. All right, so below are some suggestions to improve English language. So here I have 37 words. All right. Students, okay. Are you able to understand? Okay. Are you able to understand? Please type in the chat box if you have any question. Ada apa-apa soalan yang kamu nak tanya pada saya? Okay. Type in the chat box. I can see it. Okay. Do you understand me? Boleh faham tak? How to write the introduction before kita semua akan tulis the introduction. Okay. Okay, thank you. Karti Maimutu said yes. Okay, most of you said yes. Shanti. Okay. Oh, so many of you. Leslie. Uh, Aiman. Maria. Okay, a lot of you say yes. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Okay, everyone, okay, stop uh, answering my question. Now, we are going to write the essay together. All right, so are you ready? Okay, now, uh, let's write the introduction. Okay, the first one, okay? Remember the introduction first? What is it? What is the first introduction? that you can use, the one that I mentioned to you just now? Okay, give it a try. Okay, remember the first one is general statement. All right. Number two, definition. Okay, saya nak bila saya sebut ni, you, you masukkan in your head. All right, everybody. Okay. First is general statement. Second is definition. Okay. What is the third one? 
Yes, questions. All right, very good. Darshini, thank you. All right. Tishan, thank you. Shakti, thank you. All right. Shasha Din, definition, thank you. And the fourth is statistical report or data. Yes, thank you, everybody. Ah, you managed to answer my question. Thank you so much. All right. So here are four types of introduction. After this, kalau cikgu you bagi exercise, you dah tahu dah. Dekat dalam your head introduction, you have four. General statement, definition, question, data. That's it. Understand? All right. Very good, everybody. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. Now, this is what we are going to do today. All right, everybody. So, later, I need you to respond in the chat box. All right. Okay, your friends have, and you have been discussing online gaming. Okay, I purposely chose this question because this is so related to you. Okay, this is what you have been doing during this uh, MCO. All right, the principal of your school has asked you to write an essay on the advantages and disadvantages of playing online games. So, you know this very well. All right. So, in your essay, you should write about some benefits of online game. All right. That is the first question. Okay. Benefits of online games. You see the word benefits. All right. Benefit, there is, a, there is an S, meaning plural. You must write more than one. All right. So, second, some problems face. So, what are the problems you face when you play online games? All right and give some advice all right so write your essay in 125 words to 150 words in a in an appropriate style sorry there is an error there using all the notes and giving reasons for your point of view all right now so everyone now i want you to write the introduction first in the chat box don't write it yet listen to me first all right so, listen, I want you to write around two or three sentences, okay, using general statement plus question plus thesis statement. All right, I want general statement, I want question, I want thesis statement in one introduction. Okay, so when you type in the chat box, please also include how many words. And remember, do not write more. Okay, more, around 30 to 35 words. Okay, okay, let me see in the um, chat box. Do on. I understand, teacher. Thank you. The game is very common. What is this statement? Ama Iskanda. Yeah, this statement, the one that I showed you just now, the last sentence, okay? The last sentence in the uh, introduction part, okay? Okay, Arif, thank you. Online game can release my tension. I know that. But please, I want the introduction first. All right? Give me an introduction. Okay, no, Azlin, thank you. So far, everything is clear, teacher. Thank you. Okay, Shah Fazli, teacher, I want to ask if the word lebih kena potong markah ke? Uh, it's not about potong markah, Shah Fazli, because kalau you tulis lebih pun, okay, dia tetap 20 markah. Dia tak akan pergi 30 ke 50 markah. Better you lebihkan dalam uh, the third question where you kena tulis 200 to 250 words. Uh, okay, but you you banyakkan in the third uh, question. Okay. 
how to manage bilangan words in our introduction teacher uh, Siti Nur Fatihah okay Siti Nur Fatihah just now teacher dah bagi tahu around 30 to 35 lah words tulis je banyak tu okay that's why teacher bagi dekat kamu the introduction okay um can i have a ja, jatini's uh, essay Siapa tadi? Puan Asyik, Puan Asni eh? Uh, Amal Hakimah. Okay, can I have Amal Hakimah? Okay, oh, banyak ni. Okay. Uh, Syafazli, saya dah jawab soalan Syafazli tadi eh. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh. Uh, Puan Hasni, can we have one uh, example of AC with us? Thank you. Uh, banyak yang bagi saya respon ya. Thank you so much students. Dashlini, Dashlini, Dashalini. Okay, how to manage bilangan words in our introduction teacher, Siti Nofatiha. Just now saya bagi tahu 30 ke 37 patah perkataan. Alright. Is Akman. Okay. Okay, Nadira. In this modern day, entertainment is available in just one click of a button. People have lots of option. Okay, Janatini. Okay, kita tengok Janatini punya uh, introduction eh. Janatini, English is the central language for using in communication between different countries. Alright. So, improving. Uh, okay, I can't read. Okay. Uh, Puan Asni boleh bagi saya satu tak? Kita ambil yang Akmal Hakimah punya. Okay. Online gaming is a national wide activity for teens nowadays. Okay. That is general statement. Everybody, okay, if you look at the screen there. Okay. The question is, is it good or bad for them? So, one uh, question from uh, Amal Hakimah. So, 30 words. Alright. Okay. Thank you, Amal. Shantini. Okay, Fatin, you have general statement. Okay. Okay, thank you Fatin. You have general statement. Huh? Yours is general statement. This network. Okay, Josephine. Aha, uh -huh. okay. That is general statement. Okay, Josephine, thank you. Okay. So, you can, you can, okay. Uh, Tio Ji Yang. Okay, so Tio Ji Yang, you have two. Ah, good Tio Ji Yang. Okay, because you have general statement, you have question, and you have TC statement. Three sentences. Thank you. All right. Ah, Shuhada. Okay, thank you, Shuhada. Janatini. Okay, you have general statement. Okay. Hence, it is not advisable to keep them totally away from game. Okay, so that is a general statement, Janatini. Thank you so much. I can see a lot of you are writing. Okay. General statement plus, okay, uh, question. So, why did I ask you, okay, kenapa kita suruh kamu tulis general statement and question? Okay, uh, so that, okay, kalau you tulis essay, dia ada pelbagai. You have general statement and you ada soalan. So, essay kamu tu dia jadi lagi mantap. So, dia, dia, dia you can also write general statement saja, no problem. Okay, but kalau you bubur dua, okay, it should be lagi 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 okay, lagi sedap kamu punya essay. And a thesis statement. Okay, AMA. Yes, AMA. You see, online games are commonly played by teens nowadays. How do you know the effects of online gaming? Ah, uh, That is question, right, AMA? Uh, so, dia ada dua kat situ, AMA and also uh, thesis statement. Dah cantik dah tu kamu punya introduction. And, okay, whatever ke macam mana you nak tulis panjang pun, please remember, kita dah bagi you the word count okay you only write 150 words saya tahu kamu nak tulis macam-macam but remember untuk guided 125 to 150 sahaja okay so tadi yang kata potong markah tu semua okay dia tak ada nak kata potong markah okay kamu menjawab semua soalan tetapi markah kamu tetap 20 markah untuk guided Understand? Alright, thank you so much. Okay. Okay, a lot here. Tivesh Kumar. 
All right, thank you. There's a question. I think Tivesh, I think you are writing more than 30, if I'm not mistaken. Kalau gitu panjang. Okay. Casey Chong. Okay, thank you. Yes. Okay, there is general statement and also you have the TC statement. 31 word Casey Chong. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, thank you. Yes, there are so many good introduction here. Sembai anak propan subramaniam. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it can also relax their mind. Okay. That one we can go that for the points. Okay. Ah, that is, is it a good habit or bad or good to the students? Yes. Below this is the advantage given for students. 32 was okay. Shafazli, thank you. Uh, okay, that is a general statement and you have the thesis statement. Okay, so the thing is all of you, I can see that you can write a very good introduction. So that's how you do it. Okay, remember, count the words. Okay, now can we try another one? General statement plus definition and thesis statement. After this, we can go to the next paragraph. Okay, after we finish this session, you are able to write one whole good essay. All right. So can we have general statement plus definition plus thesis statement? Okay. Tivesh Kumar. Ahmad, Ahmad Facebook. Hmm, nama. Okay. Yes. Sembai. Yes. Thank you. I vlog. Yes. Okay. Okay. I vlog. You, you, you wrote that will uh, release your stress so will release your stress is the point okay for the second paragraph okay so points ni jangan masukkan ke dalam uh, introduction okay ah ni chin thank you yes z g z okay you have gender statement and also question okay now can can I uh, have one more here? General statement plus definition plus thesis statement. Okay. Ah, Naim Nasir. Okay. You have a lot of benefits and can gain more general knowledge. I think general knowledge can be the benefit of online games. So that point for general knowledge tu kita boleh masuk dekat dalam perenggan yang kedua. Naim. Alright. Visali, anak perempuan Siva Kumar. Yes, thank you. Okay, very good. Alright. Uh, thank you for responding, everybody. Muhammad Amar Nafis. Alright, thank you. Yes, okay, you have general statement and so you have question there, okay. Zizi, okay. Yeah, you can have money, you can gain money, you can earn money through online game. But that one should be in the benefit of online games. All right. Okay, thank you. Ku Akil, hi. I can see you there. All right. Okay. Okay. Interact with other people. Shuhada, I know. Yeah, correct. But that should be in the benefit, Shwada. At the moment, I want the introduction. All right. Okay. Thank you so much, Naim Nasir. Ah, okay. You see, Naim, the one that uh, you mentioned just now, general knowledge. Okay. Okay. Next. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, everybody. So I can see that all of you, you are able to write a very good introduction. Okay. So after this. When your teacher asks you to write an essay, remember this is how you do it. Okay? I make it easy for you tonight. Okay? Okay, can we go to the next slide? Okay? Okay, now. Activity. Okay, the second activity is the body. Okay, so what are we going to write in the body? So first, some benefits of online shopping. Oh, sorry. Not online shopping. Okay? Uh, hold on. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, the benefits of, let me see, kita silap slide, sorry. Okay, the benefit of online games. Okay, everyone, please type, okay. 
Akmal Fami, Muhammad Sufian, ya yeah, saya sebut nama kamu. Alright. How does creative your words uh, affect your mark? Okay. Uh, creative words. I think that is not the correct one. Creative words. Okay. That is what you are doing. You you use words that are uh, good. Okay. High level words. Okay. Okay. Now everybody, can you type in the benefits of online games? I just want the point. So the others, you can write the points too. Okay. Relief from stress, Ganesan, yes, okay. Brain booster, avoid stress, stress booster, bombastic words, okay. okay. What about Ame? Okay, can you tell me what are the benefits of online games? Okay. Gain money, earn money, yes. Gain new friends. Build synergy and relax our mind. So there are so many social interaction. Yeah, that is true. Brain booster help with oh, help your mental health. Make our mind relax. Akmal Fami. Okay, get new online friends. Uh, the blue star. We don't call it uh creative words. So we call it bombastic words. Okay, or um. Uh, yeah, yeah, that is the word, okay? Uh, feel happy, you work as a team, you make friends, you release your stress, you will be more mature, okay, you improve communication skill, improve skill, funny, relax, concentrate as a brainwash, okay? Huh, that is a good one. You make money, brain booster, James and Salem, okay? Yeah, stress booster, avoid stress. So, you see with the word stress itself, okay, perkataan stress tu saja, you ada banyak vocab, okay, yang you guna untuk you mention about stress, okay. Can enhance your memory, yeah, okay. Aina, Alip, Alip, can make money, yes, okay, can make new friends online, Aman Hafiz, betul, okay. Get new friends, uh, new friends, huh? okay. It can sharpen our mind, Sufian, improve language. Yes, okay. There are so many online uh, benefits of online games. Thank you so much. So, you see, kalau kita uh, cooperate, okay, together untuk dapatkan point, there are thousand of points, okay, given by your friends and you can use. Okay, so kalau kata soalan ni you buat nanti di sekolah, you dah tak ada masalah because you can see from the chat box Banyak points yang you boleh guna. Okay, I like that one just now. Plan strategy. Okay, improve English. Maria Izati. Yes, you also improve English. Because sometimes you speak English with the with your friends in Philippines or other parts of the world. Yang main tu, okay. Help in muscle memory. Strengthen memory. Izu. Okay, now everybody. Thank you so much. Okay, now everyone. Let's do the second um paragraph that is the body okay so now i want you to give me okay i want you to write one benefit of online games okay so before you write that please write a uh, thesis uh, no please write cohesive device okay i want cohesive device i want one point of benefits of online games and i want you to elaborate Okay, saya nak kamu kembangkan benda tu. Okay, so please remember. Okay, you kena plan dekat dalam introduction berapa point yang you nak tulis untuk benefits of online games. Okay, let's say you nak tulis tiga point. Okay, and then with that three benefits, you nak tulis problem sekali ke or you nak buat satu perenggan untuk problem sahaja ke so it's up to you. It's up to you as long as you must have benefits, you must have problems, you must have give some advice. Tiga-tiga tu kena ada. Alright, boleh saya dapatkan satu dulu tak? Can I have one? Ame or Ikwan, can you give me benefits of online games? Uh, you can improve your social skills. 
you can improve your social skill okay now everybody okay please write the in a uh, second paragraph okay the second point Okay, uh, good choice of vocab can score in language part. Yes, I think I think that is check huh? book. Improve vocab. Okay, improve language. Yes. Okay. Okay, teacher. When we have a lot of ideas to write, you see, but the words are limited. How can we still? in the limiting without wasting the idea okay you you okay if you have a lot of ideas okay on what to write let's say you are the benefit to you are the banyak benefit of online games right okay so you pilih tiga yang terbaik yang you can write the best okay kalau you tengok in the chat box just now okay we have many benefits of online games betul tak okay tapi you pilih tiga Okay, yang terbaik for you to write the best. Okay. Ah, communication between players of different regions. Yeah, that is true. Gita Subu, thank you. Threatening behavior such as taking drug taking and joining youth gang. Yes. Our communication with others. Bro Adam. Yes, thank you. Firstly. So, bro ada, firstly, is your cohesive device. Alright? Uh, the next one is your uh, point. So, can you elaborate the point? Okay. Increase telepathy skills. Use less common lexi words so that you can score higher marks. Yeah, thank you, Cikgu Zaidi. Okay. For the first advantage that get from online games is we can release relief from stress. Nowadays, because of studies, family problem, personal problem, and money problem makes teenagers a stressful life. Ganesan. Yes, Ganesan. Okay. So, Ganesan. Ganesan 30. That is your name there. Okay. The first advantage. That is your sentence starter. Okay. Bagus buat macam tu. Okay. So, you bagi tahu, we really stress. Okay. Uh, that is your first point, Ganesan. Alright. So, then you elaborate, kembangkan. Okay. Nowadays, because of study. So, a lot of problems there. Okay, di situ you bagi pada cikgu. Okay, you bagi pada saya. Ma, uh, examples of problems that can make you release from stress. Alright, so Ganesan, there is one good uh, second intro, you know, second part of the essay. So, that is your first point for the second uh, paragraph. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you. Ama, um, the advantages of online gaming are improving social skills. Online gaming needs interaction between the player, thus making your social skills. Okay, uh, Ganesan just now. I've read Ganesan. Okay, uh, so Sarbunan Armugam. Firstly, gaming is a great tool to socialize with other others. Okay, it means you socialize with many people, right? Sarbunan. All right, so others, huh? So you use firstly. Firstly, that is your cohesive device, okay, your sequence. And then you, you, you use the first point that is socialized with others. Then socialization is the key for modern development. Games have a glimpse of real life skills for youngsters. So that is your elaboration, okay. You kembangkan, all right, uh, of socialize with others. Thank you, Sarbunan. Okay, let me see. Okay. Who else? Okay. Oh, there's so many. Okay. Uh, Nur, Nirtika. First of all, we can improve multitasking. Uh, that is your point. Okay. Multitasking. Okay. Games that require players to find items while fighting off other components other opponents call for attention to detail and quick response. 
oh okay 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 i'm not good in gaming that's why i i now now then i understand what do you mean by it dirtika okay multitasking so in the game you got to find items so while finding your item there are things that you need to do right yeah that is multitasking thank you so that is your point ah huh? dirtika thank you immersive games can help children experience stories in a more engaged way and shape the way the story is told to spark creative skills no curator thank you okay uh, okay uh ame can you give me your first point with uh, a sentence starter or cohesive device Give me one minute, teacher. All right, thank you. Okay. Ikwan, can you give me one? There are two of them there. Okay, okay let them prepare. After you can give me, ah. All right, Rose Linda Hafizan. One of the benefits is to improve our English communication. Yes. Okay. So that is your point, ah. Improve your English communication. It means while we are playing the games, we will communicate with our partner at abroad. Okay, with our partner abroad. Regardless, we will use English language. Okay, Roslinda, very good. Okay, that is your elaboration on improve your English communication. Yeah, that is correct. Very good. Thank you. Um, roving look, Patrick. Okay, online games can be another way to hang out with your friends or even hang out with new people. Correct? Okay, it is a fun activity in this pandemic for those who struggle with loneliness. Oh, that is so true. All right, thank you, Robin. A good one. Uh, Aisha Hana, in the new stage, online gaming may brainwashing us and reprogramming our brain. By improving our social skills from the sanity of the brain, which stems from pandemic COVID nineteen. Wow! All right, thank you, Aisha. Na, that's a good one too. All right, okay. Fatin Zulaika. All right, thank you. All right. See here, generally speaking, okay, they can improve cognitive abilities such as mental rotation and help overcome. Cognitive limitations. Moreover, online games can also prime natural positive aggression. All right. So here I can see that all of you are able. Okay. The thing is, all of you are able to give me. Okay. The sentence starter or the cohesive device. Okay. And then you give me your first point. Okay. And then you elaborate on the points. Okay. Itu yang tici nak tengok. Okay. Whatever that you write about your points, okay, those are all good points, good elaboration that you gave me, okay. Yang tiga tu je nak tengok dulu. And please remember, okay, sentiasa ingat, okay, every time you finish one paragraph, please count how many words so that you are aware, okay. Kamu kamu tahu lepas ni nak tulis berapa banyak, lepas ni nak tulis berapa banyak, so that you won't go more. Alright, okay. Can I have uh the second point okay that will be the second point kita buat dua je benefits of online games after that we do problems faced okay by students okay can we, i have the second point so the second point i want also another uh cohesive device or sentence starter your point and the elaboration okay muhammad fidaus abdullah Relaxing mind, forget our problems. Aura that can give a happiness. Yes, thank you, Muhammad Fidaus. Ayuni, Kamil, first and foremost. Yeah, I like that. Okay, benefit help us release stress. Okay, thank you, Ayuni. Okay, signusinus. Oh, sig signusus. Oh, it's so difficult for me to pronounce your name. Firstly, online games help improve the head and eye coordination of an individual. Ah, uh, correct. As you need speed, you need where is it? You need speed 
and alertness to play these games. Yes, okay. That is true. Thank you. So I can read, okay. I can see a lot of um, benefits of playing online games, okay. Okay, who else? Janani Loganadan. Stress levels can be really high and quite unnecessary. Some people can become victims of hypertension, which is never a good thing. Ah, okay, that is problem space. Okay, Janani, thank you so much. Okay, I that is a good point for problem space when you play online games, right? Addictive to some people, the blue star. They'll say one more over and over. That is so true. Okay. Improve our skills in planning strategy. Uh, that is also one thing, uh, one benefit of online games. Uh, you, you have the skills of planning strategy, okay? Help us in the future. Rafia told, okay, uh, it's good if you can skill of planning strategy will help us in the future. So how does it help you in the future? Okay, just a bit of that. Thank you so much, Rafia told, okay? Nurul Asmizan, to start with, online games improve communication skills as players need to communicate with each other for a variety of reasons. For example, planning a strategy, encouraging or dominating other players. Nurul Asmizan, ah, that is a good one from you, Nurul. Okay, so you have uh, the sentence starter, you have the, intro, uh, the point, you elaborated it well and you provide example. A very good one, girl. All right. Improve our skills in planning, Rafiatul. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, everyone. Okay, Akmal Amirozi, because you start with secondly. So you, you caught my attention with your word secondly. Yeah? That means you are done with the first, now you're in the second point. Secondly, online games can reduce stress during this COVID pandemic when we were very stressed because of homework and work in-house. Ah, uh, that is true. Okay, so you elaborated it well. Uh, okay, and there's a bit of grammatical errors here and there, but it's okay. It's a good try, Akmal Amirozi. Thank you so much for responding. Okay. Okay. Uh, Harish Kumar. Uh, secondly, online games can relieve from stress that can that come because of study. And some family problems. Okay, Harish Kumar. Yes, thank you. There's a bit of a spelling error here and there, Harish Kumar. Okay, thank you so much. Enemy movement proven by scientists that is increase our muscle Medium. memory. Medium. Yes. Ah, yeah. Someone asked whether can we use advantage and disadvantage in one sentence. Uh, no problem. You are. It's how you write the essay is not a, a problem. Okay, let's say you want in in one sentence advantage and disadvantage. If you write that in one sentence, I think the sentence will be longer. Okay, but if you are able to master the sentence structure, kalau sentence structure you betul tak ada masalah. You nak tulis panjang. Tapi uh, saya selalu galakkan student saya. You try not to make a very long sentence because sometimes students bila dia buat ayat yang panjang, okay. They tend to make a lot of mistakes. Uh, does that answer the question, Puan Hasni? Yeah, I think so. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's okay because uh, someone just asked just now. But then, mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's so many of them that can write back, write in a good way, right? In a yeah, good yeah. Way. yeah. A lot of the students are writing good, uh, good uh, introduction, good yes. uh uh, for the first point and second point, okay, they elaborated it well. Because uh, masalah student is sometimes they want to write more tau. Saya tahu kamu nak tulis lebih. Okay, but you cannot. Because uh, it's only one five o words. But then, here when I look at the chat box, okay, you can write, you 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 write apa yang cik bunda. Uh, okay, apa yang cik bunda minta. Tiga benda tu, you write dalam satu perenggan. Dengan baiknya. Okay, congratulations and thank you so much. Alright, mm -hmm. saya tak boleh nak baca semua because there are so many, okay. Yang mana teacher boleh baca tu, teacher akan baca. Alright, okay. And congratulations, okay. Okay, Ame, are you able to give me yours? 
yeah uh, my point is other than that you can also meet new friends or improve your social skills through gaming because you will meet a lot of people from other region or other country than you okay okay a, a, a good one okay a precise one cukup jangan terlalu lebih all right okay vai janti mayandi i'm going to answer your question ah huh? which linking word is correct beside or be, besides or besides that all right besides that comma every time you use that you must have a comma okay besides that okay uh, other than that maina alia we can make a new friend okay maina alia bila you kata ada a a mean satu okay please remember that ah huh? a mean satu but here your friends tu ada s that means banyak so buang a maina thank you other than that we can make new friends from nowhere okay from uh, i think it's better from everywhere okay it can let go of longing to our friends that can't meet during mco okay ada grammatical error sana sini okay maina tapi i can understand teacher boleh faham apa yang maina nak sampaikan pada teacher okay that is important yang 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 selanjutnya you can improve yourself thank you we also can ah saya suka ayat ni okey sebabnya di sini ada kesalahan dan saya nak bagi tahu pada 1777 yang menonton sekarang ni we also can that is not correct okey we can also please ambil nota tu dan tulis mana-mana we can also remember that okey strengthen relationship even if they do not know each other yes correct thank you maina alia okay you make my day because you tulis perkata uh, ayat tu okay phrase tu also can di situ jadi saya boleh betulkan supaya semua boleh faham uh. hmm. maina alia thank you all right okay negative okay okay besides that avoid Online games can be addictive to some people and these habits are never good to begin with. One time there's a player found dead after playing a game all day. Ah uh, that is the problem phase when you play too much of online games. We call it brain dead. It happened, okay? If I'm not mistaken in China. Okay? The boy was playing suddenly he collapsed, okay? This called brain dead. Okay? So people you when you play online games please be careful because there's limitation. Okay? All right, thank you so much everybody. Okay, on top and top of that, online games can be the easy way for someone to make some money. Okay. Streaming has been a trend among gamers to make an easy money on many platforms such as Twitch, YouTube and so on. Hazrul is one. Yes, thank you. That is the benefit of online games. Thank you so much. Okay, now everyone Can you please type in what are the problems that you face okay when playing online games I just want to know the points of problems the problems that you faced okay when you play online games Ame and Ikwan can you give me some problems because you both of you love online games <laughs> you can get more you can be more stressed by playing game how come you can be more stressed by playing game because um teacher don't understand how to explain ah okay waste our time internet connection mix be toxic people toxic player okay can't focus in study there are no disadvantages oh okay sarguna armgam Okay. Uh, throw time, stress when lost, toxic player, develop anger issues. I like that. Maybe you can elaborate on that. Okay. Problems face when playing games, you develop anger issues. Ah, uh, okay. Because you, yeah, you have a lot of pro problems when you play games, right? Ah, uh, you are stressed when you are lost. Okay. Ah, uh, you can't focus in studies. Okay. Those are common problems. But I like this one. Develop anger issue. Okay, from Linda Ambrose. 
Okay, maybe you can elaborate on that later. Toxic community. Also from Nadira. Yes. Madam, also from Nadira, say uh, one of the most common dangers that students face during online gaming is cyberbullying. This is correct. Yeah, cyberbullying. Cyber yeah. yeah. Maybe you can elaborate on that later, okay? Cyberbullying. And then the other one just now, uh, anger. What was it just now? Mm, I'm looking for it, okay? Where is it? Uh, anger. anger. Where is it? Anger issue or issue or something about anger. I can't find it. <laughs> I can't find no. it. <laughs> Mostly is about behavioral. This one from No Karato. She said that behavioral and mental changes. Yeah. It's no. Mama is kind of teacher don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand because I don't play online games. Okay, <laughs> that's why I need you to tell me. Okay, what are your problems when you? Uh, yeah, I like this one. Fatin Safia, uh, forgot to pray. That is correct. Okay. <laughs> Master my, 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 my Nalia, interfering with free time with family. Yes, that is correct. Okay, the relationship okay between uh, among among siblings okay will be interfered. Okay, you get addicted. Okay, behavioral and mental changes. You waste data, mailing, cyber bully. Yes. Okay, when you get toxic team, you will be more stressed. Oh, okay, waste of time. Less sleep, develop bad habits. Okay, can't focus in studies. You sleep late. Okay, skill broken. Okay, so they are ah putri nana. You will have health issues. Okay, that is correct. Okay. You do not study, okay? Waste time by doing something that didn't give us benefits. Kartini, interfering with uh, with free time with family, correct? That is so true, okay? Okay. Affect focus and interfere, okay? Affect focus and patient. Can it can control our life if we are unable to control our dopamine hormones of desire and wants, the bluer star. Hmm. Okay. That is a good one, okay. The, the, uh, the blue star also, it can take a toll on our mental health if we face mm. toxic community. This could I lead think, someone to contemplate uh, suicide and refuse to help with others. At least, wow. teacher. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that, that is also on uh, behavioral changes, okay. Uh, anger issues, when you lose, you're so angry, okay. Um, Root people society. I do agree sometimes with this root people society because sometimes if they play too much, okay, when they, they because they have their own language. Uh, students, you have your own language when you play online games, right? Okay, you use that language when you play the game, okay, in the game, but please do not use that language when you talk to your parents, when you talk to your uh, siblings or other people, all right. Okay, decrease the quality. Okay, one of the other hand, the advantages of playing online is they will easily get uh, easily addicted to it. Okay, toll on our mental health if we face toxic community. This could lead someone to contemplate suicide and refuse to help of others. That is so true. Okay, okay, everyone. Okay, everyone, I need you to give me okay one paragraph of problem space. Okay when you uh, play online games okay like the first like the second and third paragraph okay the second and third point uh, uh, i want you to give me one sentence starter i want you to give me one problem and i want you to give me one elaboration can you do that for me uh. 
tanah tanah lacumi tanah okay besides that besides that okay there are many disadvantage when we play online games okay so tanah when you say many disadvantage this many disadvantages ah they are wasting our time okay when students play play the online games they can study well and can damage their eyes and many more all right tana a very good one all right semua ada di situ okay you have the uh, cohesive device you you have the uh, problems okay and you elaborated the problems thank you uh, i saw this now this girl Avoid one of the disadvantages is uh, playing games sometimes can be can be a cause of stress rather than curing stress. Okay, slow internet that causes delays and bad teammates are major factors that can cause stress. Okay, so you whatever you are writing in the chat box, it's what you experience when you play online games. All right, and you are writing it out. Okay, thank you. Okay, Siti Nazira, teacher, can I know how many paragraphs you should write in this essay? Okay, now, Siti Nazira, okay, you have one for introduction, all right? And then you can write three, okay, or four for your body, okay? Because the body will be around 100 words. If you write four paragraphs, it will be 100. If you, if you write three paragraphs, it will be around 100. Okay, that means mungkin you tulis benefit tu, you tulis dua benefit, okay, or dua problems, or dua benefit, satu problems, okay, or satu problem, ataupun dua, dua, dua benefit, dua problems, and in the conclusion paragraph, you give some advice. Okay, boleh Siti Nazira? Alright. Uh, how many paragraphs for benefit, Muhammad Zakwan? Um, mungkin satu perenggan tu, you bubur uh, dua benefit ataupun dua perenggan benefit. Okay, and dua perenggan problems. So, kalau you ada empat, dua benefit, dua problem, that means 25, 25, 25, 25, dah lebih kurang 100 untuk your body. Okay, alright. So, introduction lebih kurang 30. Conclusion lebih kurang 20. So, you akan dapat lebih kurang 150 atau lebih kurang pun 150, 155. Okay? Nah, Zakwan? Okay. Amir or Ikwan? Yes, teacher. Okay. Can you give me one uh, problems, one problem face when you play online games okay the first one a lot of people face issues such as online harassment or more known as cyberbullying uh, uh, when they are gaming uh, mm -hmm. they can easily they can easily affect uh, someone mental health or causing the players more stress okay thank you all right uh, Gita Sugu, cyberbullying is one such way through which these people will take advantage. Okay. It is popular tactic used to distract gamers. Okay. Most of, often, underage children are targeted for cyberbullying. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. Uh, I call it, it is an important information also. Uh. Gita, thank you so much. Uh. Okay. Late night gamers, late night games and chit chats through online games may also cause health issues that is correct dinesh okay sometimes when you play late at night you will eat okay a lot at night okay or you don't have enough sleep okay hasliza become lack of confidence of meeting people in real life that is so true okay bad life quality if you wake up late you set alarm okay if you can wake up but if you set alarm but you still can't wake up it is also a problem huh? However, without the right guidance on what games to play or when to play, children can be exposed to certain risks such as 
in game bullying, online grooming, or some extreme cases, gaming addiction. Kachum potato. Yeah, that is good. Okay, see, you are able to give me good points and you elaborated it well. Okay, and the vocab that you use are also good. Okay, it shows that uh, you have a lot of vocabs that you can write in. Okay, and explain. Okay, uh, itu yang you punya cikgu nak tengok. Okay, itu yang pemerisa nak tengok. Okay, you, you are using all this. Thank you so much. Okay, Ama Iskandar. The effect of playing online games is that it can make us addicted to playing all the time. To play all the time. This may cause us to become complacent and adversely affect our eyes and our brain. Yes, that is so true. Okay. Always say bad words. Pika Yoko. Ah, yeah. Okay. This uh, sometimes, uh, that's why I told you just now. Okay, when you play online games, you will use all these words. But do not. Use this word after or you go out from the game. Okay, please remember that. Okay. Uh, Nirtika, moreover, one of the problems that gamers will face is health issues. They are staring at the screen for hours that can damage their eyesight. Yeah, that is health problems. Huh? We have a lot of health problems stated here. And one of it is what you are telling me now, what you are mentioning here. That is damaging the eyesight. All right. My advice is spend more time playing physical activity. Ah, okay. Okay. Who else? Okay. Uh, Ryan Akil. Teacher, if I only use a simple and not high English words, can I get a better mark or not? Okay. Okay, Ryan. Sometimes, okay, there are students who cannot uh, use good English. All right? Good words. But you still need to write. Macam-macam mana pun kamu kena tulis. All right? So that's why your, your textbook is very important. Okay? Because... When we talk about online games, okay, dalam kalau you tengok you punya buku teks, there are so many words related to online games. So, you boleh tengok dalam buku teks you, apakah perkataan-perkataan yang berkaitan dengan online games or or about internet or about social media, okay. Try and use. Ha, cuba, saya nak Ryan cuba guna, okay. Tak salah, boleh je guna simple word, okay. Tapi kalau ayat penggunaan tu simple, macam mana kamu nak dapat markah yang tinggi? Okay, sekurang-kurangnya guna uh, perkataan yang bagus, okay, so markah you akan jadi bagus. At least you 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 need to try guna buku teks kamu. Okay, buku teks form 5 tu very important. Okay. Okay, uh, Rai Kalish Warren. Warren eh. Playing online games for extended time period can also lead to addiction. Okay. Uh, okay, you see, ah, mana tadi Kalis yang tanya saya soalan tu kan, guna perkataan. You see, Ryan is using, Ryan menggunakan perkataan extended time period. Okay, Ryan tidak menggunakan perkataan uh, play online games uh, for a long time. Contohnya, okay, masa yang panjang. So, itu adalah ayat yang simple. Tapi here Ryan use extended time period. Ha, itu adalah perkataan yang bagus. So daripada sini bukan setakat kamu membaca, kamu boleh ambil perkataan tu and use it. That's how you learn English. Okay, that's why kita buat macam ni. Okay, so that you read and you can take all these words yang kawan-kawan kita satu Malaysia ni guna. Alright. Thank you Ryan. Ha. Uh, some gamers are addicted to an extent that they have forgotten their daily responsibilities. Ah, tu perkataan tu. Okay, that phrase, daily responsibilities. Those are two good words. Okay, maknanya apa yang dia punya tanggungjawab seharian. Okay, daripada uh, Ryan can, can also use, uh, they have forgotten their housework, house chores. Boleh juga perkataan tu. But Ryan guna daily response. Possibilities. Okay, those two are good uh, vocab yang you can use. Alright, thank you Ryan. Uh, so, uh, we must write six paragraph Nur Azmina. Okay, Nur Azmina, 
Saya tak akan menetapkan you kena tulis enam perenggan. You kena tulis lima perenggan. Okay, Nur Azmina. Sebenarnya is up to you untuk tulis berapa perenggan. Bergantung kepada point yang kamu nak kembangkan. Nak nak kamu jawab. Okay, what are the points that you need to answer? Mungkin yang ini ni kamu nak tulis dua. Mungkin yang ini kamu nak tulis satu. Mungkin yang ini kamu nak tulis dua. Whatever it is. Jangan lebih 150 patah perkataan Okay That's why Okay Bila cikgu you Bagi you uh, Question for you to answer Untuk kamu tulis Kamu kena plan Okay Kamu jarang buat benda ni But you got to plan Okay Bila you plan You mind map Okay You buat template You outline Okay Introduction 30 You dah tahu dah Introduction 30 So you read the question Apa soalan yang aku kena jawab Okey, ini soalan ni kena ada dua. Soalan ni kena ada dua. Point, dua point. Ha, ini dalam perenggan kedua. Ini mungkin dalam perenggan ketiga. Ha, yang ni perenggan keempat. Okey, and then introduction, perenggan kelima. Okey, aku nak buat lima je lah. Aku nak buat enam je lah. Okey, aku nak buat empat je. Teacher tak halang. Okey, it's up to you. But remember, no more than one five five lah teacher bagi. Okey, ingat tu. Okey, Nur Azbina. Okey sekarang teacher nak 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 nak, uh, nak jawab soalan saja. Okey. Okey, uh, you can ask me any question, okey? Uh, I want to read this one Siti Fatima. Other than that, playing online games until night causes the body to be tired and lack energy. That is correct. This makes us sleepy and unfocused in school. This thing will make the teacher get mad and scolded us. Okay, thank you girl, Siti Fatima. Alright. Uh, Siti Fatima, the word mad there, okay, is correct. I know, marah, alright. But when you write, okay, it's better for you to not use the word mad. Okay, because they tidak sesuai, okay. Maybe teacher to get angry, uh, that sounds, that, that is better daripada mad and scolded us, alright. Do idiom, where is it? Do, oh, where is it? I saw it just not about idiom. It's counted as one. Okay. Idiom is uh, how many? Uh, killing two birds with one stone. Killing two birds with one stone. Six words. Okay. It's not considered as one. Six words. Huh? Farini Ahmad Fadi. That is my name. Three words. Okay. Okay. Saya, uh, okay, I'm looking at questions. Uh. Teacher rasa dia nak jawab soalan. Okay, yang berkaitan dengan isi. Okay, Gita Sugu. Kalau saya tulis lebih daripada 150 patah kata, ada tak teacher penanda tu potong markah? <laughs> okay. <laughs> teacher penanda, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, examiner, we call them examiner. Okay, I understand Gita, thank you. Okay, dia tak ada potong markah. Okay, cumanya dia tak tak baca, dia bukanlah dia dia baca tapi uh, dia dia tak akan memberi you markah yang okey kita ada tulis lebih 20 so kita nak bagi kita lebih no kita alright dia tetap akan beri markah mengikut apa kehendak uh, skema permarkahan okey kita menjawab soalan tak okey kalau kita menjawab semua soalan yang teacher bagi ni kita hanya dapat 5 markah je konten dia hanya 5 markah Okay, dia takkan lebih daripada itu Walaupun kita tulis 20 poin sekalipun Okay, so kenapa kita nak buang masa Tulis panjang-panjang Di waktu yang sama Kita kena tulis lagi satu Yang sampai 250 patah perkataan That's why dekat sini Teacher highlight kan Okay, intro 30 Body 100 uh, Conclusion 20 So kita ikut je situ Okay, mungkinlah lebih Boleh lebih Tapi lebih dalam 155, 154, ha, lebih macam tu. Alright, Gita? Alright. Ah, okay. Verdi, okay. The more you write, the more errors you make. Okay. Um, <coughs> Nak kata the more you write, the more errors you make tu mungkin boleh jadi. Okay. Cumanya sometimes, kadang-kadang students kita, dia suka, macam kamu suka tulis, satu Ayat tu, okay, terlalu panjang, full stop dia. Okay, 
because you try to write kamu cuba untuk menjawab complex sentence alright sebab complex sentence ada yang panjang kan so cuba kalau kamu nak tulis ayat yang panjang okey di mana ada banyak perkataan then baru you full stop you should be careful yang itu memang you kena be careful sometimes lagi panjang lagi banyak errors yang kamu buat okey Okay, so teacher, is it better if you use proverbs or idioms more than one? Okay, uh, soalan ni teacher selalu dapat lah, okay. So, sebenarnya bagus kita guna, okay, proverb or idioms di dalam esei, tak ada masalah, okay. Um, cuma, okay, jangan terlalu banyak. I think because you kena tulis satu lima puluh patah perkataan saja. Kalau you nak tulis proverbs ke idiom tu, tulis satu je, cukup. Sebab yang lain tu kita nak tulis pasal soalan dia. Okey, kita nak tulis soalan dia. Boleh tulis untuk mencantikkan esei. Okey, macam kita beli kek, kosong je kek tu. Tak cantik kan? Ah bubuh ada satu bunga kat situ. Dah cukup. Okey? Kadang kalau esei yang terlebat, terlalu banyak proverb pun dia akan mencacatkan pembacaan tu. Okey? Okey, Zul, I have answered the question ya. Eh? Okay, uh, Hetty, for guided writing, which team to focus? Is it on science and technology? The question pattern is usually on advantages or disadvantages. Okay, Hetty Shalini, I cannot, uh, I, teacher tak boleh nak kata you should focus on this, on this or on this. Okay, cannot. Because saya pun tak tahu soalan tu akan focus on what team. Tapi kalau you tengok you punya buku teks, dia ada macam-macam tema kat dalam tu. Dia ada science and technology, we have environment, we have people, okay, we have on culture, semua team kita ada kat dalam tu. Okay, so the thing is, you kena baca semua, you kena tahu kalau kata keluar soalan science and technology, ini adalah perkataan-perkataan dia. Kalau you baca on, uh, kalau let's say the question is on environment, contoh dia, uh, these are the words related to environment. Okay, kalau about culture, uh, these are the words related to culture. Kalau about uh, pasal, contohnya pasal uh, money or whatsoever yang related to financial uh, issues, okay, hal kewangan, uh, these are the words. Okay, teacher tak berani nak kata uh, tema apa yang you kena fokus. You need to read all girl. Alright. Uh, the question pattern is usually on, okay, tak Okay, advantage and disadvantage tu adalah salah satu pattern of the question. It could be effect, okay, it could be many. Okay, teacher tak berani nak kata apa sebab kita kena belajar semua. Okay, kamu kena jawab semua bentuk soalan. So that apa juga yang keluar, kamu tak ada masalah nak jawab. Okay, alright. That's why your textbook is important eh. Teacher, how to attract the examiner, Nurul Atika? <laughs> Itu soalan cepu mas tu. How to attract the examiner, okay? To attract the examiner, okay, your introduction tu kena catchy. Macam, yes? Hello? Ah, okay, to attract the examiner, okay, cuba kurangkan uh, kesalahan, okay. Uh, sometimes, sometimes, walaupun kamu tulis simple, tapi kalau... Uh, points kamu menarik, elaboration kamu menarik, okay, it can attract the uh, examiner. Alright? Okay, now, everybody, can you give me some advice? Okay, this is the last part, huh? the introduction, uh, the conclusion part. Can you give me some advice on online games? So, you want to give me, uh, what advice should you give to your friends? Okay? Uh, for me to read, okay, about online games, okay. Alia Alisha, teacher, if I write more than 150 words, like 155, is it will affect my marks? No, it won't affect your marks. Sebabnya lebih you hanya lima, dia tak ada effect apa ke. No problem, okay. Okay, welcome Hetty, welcome Musna. <coughs> okay, Sofia Basha. So how can I make sure my English is my English use is good? 
read a lot listen to your teacher okay do self studying okay ah rafiato reduce the time that we use to play games that is correct okay ah uh, that is an advice thank you rabia uh, rafiato okay must be played in correct time okay you you manage your time when you play online games okay kavish sandiran that is true uh i saw just now limit the time okay okay amira ali teacher if you choose to write the introduction using statistical report or data must it be accurate sometimes you cannot write an accurate uh percentage okay percentage tu tak accurate sebab you tak berapa nak tahu betul tak uh, siapa nama amira kan tapi you can write a logic number okay Lo uh, no, uh, percentage tu logic diakai dan boleh diterima for example dalam malaysia sekarang ni okay semua pelajar form 4 form 5 okay semua pelajar lah most of the students have handphone betul tak So kalau dulu mungkin ramai yang tak ada but now because of PDPR ni kita ada ramai yang ada handphone betul tak? Okay kalau kata you nak tulis percentage takkan you nak tulis 50% Kalau 50% kalau kita ada 400,000 pelajar SPM terkata 5 takkan 200,000 tak ada Okay so maybe kita boleh tulis percentage tu kurang lagi maybe 20% of the student of the form 5 students in Malaysia still do not have handphone So 20% tu adalah percentage yang acceptable, logic yang boleh diterima. Okay, Amira. <coughs> Lia Antasha, make a timetable. That is your advice. Thank you. Play with your friends together. Hazim, nama lagi Hazim Gaming. Hmm, okay. Iman Kistina, manage time. Okay. The blue star start to write a schedule in a paper or use Google to help remind you. It feel like someone telling us what to do, but we are the one who is forcing our star ourselves to stop. Yes, blue star. Okay, that is a good um uh, conclusion from you. Okay, don't be too addictive, addicted, as Lisa. Okay. For a conclusion, Adonis, all things come for two sides. Therefore, we should be awareness in playing online games to make sure we don't ruin our education. Yes, that is true, Adonis. Or Adonis, sorry. Okay. Patrick, Allah, banyak ni teacher terlepas. Okay, sorry. Set a timetable limit for gaming. Jeremy Dagang, finally, I prefer for the youngsters to balance between study and playing online games because both of them have their own benefits and disadvantages. Ah, that is your advice. That is good. Thank you, Jeremy. Fatin uh, Azira, yeah. it's okay to have some fun by, by, by playing online games, but we must know the limits or maybe reduce the time of playing online games and spend your time with hobby that give us benefit. All right. So okay, here they, I can see... Okay, yes. they like this in a nutshell. I think it's a good. Yeah, yeah. in a nutshell. That yeah. is a good uh, conclusion. Uh, other than sentence. Yes, other than in a conclusion, uh, that, that, right? We can choose, we can say in a nutshell. Uh, yeah, that, in a nutshell. Right? Okay. Mm -mm. That is a good one. That is a good phrase. Okay. I can see that uh, the students responded very well. Okay. I am so sorry. I can't read all. Okay. I can read all the essays given by you, but uh, overall, thank you so much for responding, okay? I wish all of you the best, all right? And I know uh, you will score in your uh, SPM next year, inshallah. Uninstall games. Oh, that is a good one, Pakit Iskandar. Nurul Atika, thank you. A lot of love. Thank you. Okay, I install phone. <laughs> it is kind of... I install of games. <laughs> I install games. Okay. Yeah, you don't need I'm not sure whether you will do it. 
Okay, Sadguna Arugam in a nutshell. Ah, okay. Games are just a form of entertainment for people. We should think wisely while and before playing games. Ah, that is a good advice to all gamers out there. Okay, think wisely before a while and before playing games. Okay. I <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay. Welcome, everyone. Okay. All right. Okay. I think uh, we can uh, stop now. Uh, Puan Anis. Thank you so much, everybody. Nice knowing all of you virtually. <laughs> okay. Uh... Thank you, teacher, for ini. Ya, untuk uh, writing essay pada malam ini. Ya, okay. Jadi, uh, yang harapkan kepada semua pelajar, ya, kepada semua pelajar, ya, uh, muka dapat, ya, ilmu yang bermanfaat, ya. Bagaimana untuk menulis uh, essay, ya. Okay, dia rumusan daripada cikgu apa yang cikgu dapat uh, uh, daripada apa yang dibentuk oleh cikgu ini tadi, ya. Uh, jadi AC tadi mestilah uh, daripada 125 ke 150 patah perkataan. Kemudian ya uh, Cici Farini juga tadi telah membentangkan bagaimana nak menulis ya cara menulis AC ya uh, macam mana nak uh, uh, word count ya di mana introduction eh, 30, uh, 30 words, uh, body hundreds of words, uh, conclusion 20 words ya. Okey jadi uh, dan juga uh, pelajar juga juga boleh ya membuat perenggan ya perenggan uh, seberapa banyak yang uh, boleh ya dalam penulisan uh, esei ya dan uh, yang pastinya setiap isi uh, perlulah dikembangkan ya. Okey jadi thank you uh, teacher for ini di atas ilmu yang bermanfaat ya jadi kepada pelajar ya jangan lupa uh, untuk esok ya pada masa yang sama ya uh, esok pada hari Rabu Ya pada masa yang sama 8 suku hingga 9.45 kita akan bersama lagi untuk English CFR untuk Let's Speak ya Jadi jangan lupa untuk bersama-sama dengan Seminar Anak Cemerlang ya Seminar Anak Cemerlang Lenggung 21 ya pada minggu ini ya Ada banyak program lagi yang kita akan bersama-sama ke udara ya pada waktu ya dan masa yang sama Okey. Uh, itu saja daripada Seminar Anak Cemilang. Bye-bye.